welcome back to the channel and today in Monday Midline we have few interesting topics to cover. Starting with the headlines. So as the new year unfolds, a significant trend is emerging in the health and wellness industry with direct to consumer or D2C brands and internet platforms witnessing the surge in demand for their products and services. This spike is attributed to consumer making fitness and well-being a top priority, especially as a new year resolution. Healthify Me's remarkable sale. So this startup called as Healthify Me, backed by Khosla Ventures and Unilever Ventures, which helps you with your diet and workout, hits a jackpot. On the first day of the 2024, they ranked in a whopping 2.5 crores in sales. That's more than three times of what they usually make in a day. Imagine that. Most of their money this month is coming from people renewing their subscriptions and they are eyeing a cool 35 rupee crore in January alone. Boldfit's impressive growth. Boldfit, again a bootstrap D2C brand. Bootstrap is basically means that they have not raised any money from investors. They have whatever money they could able to make or generate is through customers selling their products or from the banks as in form of loans or from their families and friends. Uh, selling specialized sports, fitness products and supplements reported a 20 to 25% increase in sales during the first week of January compared to their regular businesses. In the first week of January, they saw a jump of 20 to 25% of their sales compared to the usuals. Blitz Club success in gym and yoga wear. Elevation Capital backed Bliss Club, focusing on gym and yoga wear for women, experienced robust revenue growth from mid-December to January. Bliss Club posted a remarkable 50-60% to increase in the revenue during the December 2023-2024 January period compared to the previous months. Similarly, Cult Sports and CureFit sales surges. Cult Sports and CureFit backed by Zomato and Tata Digital, who sell sportswear and fitness gears, also saw a sales boost recently. But hold on, they are saying that this might slow down by 30% by the end of January as they predict a 30% drop in the interest by February thanks to the resolution month of January. Investment trends and future looks. So there's a VCE firm called as Firmside. Uh, they are seeing a bigger demand for healthy stuffs not just during the new year high but also year round. They are planning to keep investing in healthcare because they believe more and more people are getting health conscious. While the surge in new year demands are expected to subside in the coming months, the overall trend suggests that there is some kind of an interest which is growing in health and wellness solution. Companies are strategically planning for growth, anticipating continued consumer interest and aligning their business strategies with evolving landscape of health conscious consumers. So tell me in the comment section your views on these modern app-based health and wellness solutions. One reason why these apps are very important and uh, one of the interesting cases which we came across in our uh, researching is, it's a story. So when Kumar, who is just of 18 years, went to the hospital in Malad with a chest pain and bit of sweating and his parents were shaken when they found out that he had a heart attack. This lad, who is into sports, played cricket daily and no one in the family had a history of heart attack, but the test showed that he needed a stent in his heart artery. Now, Kumar is not alone. Research say that Indians are getting heart attack 10 years earlier than their Caucasian counterparts. And guess what? The age when the heart diseases kicks in is dropping too, says doctors. Kumar had an 80% block in his heart artery. A massive clot, mind you. The doctor puts a stent and a boom, instant relief. But get this, Kumar was a junk food lover and that's what actually messed up his cholesterol level. Now he needs some heart rehab doing or going back to normal life and doing the regular stuff. These, These days, when a young person shows up with a chest pain, you got to suspect a clot instead of an unusual plague. And don't forget about hyperchromocystinemia, an amino acid thing damaging your artery lining. So people, take a moment and think about what you're eating, how you're living, and if you are stressing too much. Staying up with the importance of food and wellness, MIT's new vibrating pill. A game changer in optimizing or battling obesity. MIT engineers have just unveiled something pretty amazing, an ingestible pill that vibrates inside your stomach. Yes, you heard this right. 
this pill triggers a feeling of being full or fullness by activating stretch receptors in your stomach making you feel satisfied even when you have not taken too much to eat it's like a magic for your appetite now, now in animal tests this vibrating pill taken 20 minutes before a meal not only kicked off a release of hormones signaling that i am full but also slashed their food intake by a whopping 40 percent this could be a game changer for those looking to shed some weight or control their munchies the idea is to take this vibrating pill before each meal and voila, you eat less. But, but wait, wait there. there's more. They powered a small battery. It vibrates for about 30 minutes in your stomach and it dissolves and passes through your system in a few days. No right. harm done. This, this could, could be a be game changer, especially when the other obesity treatments involve surgeries and other injections. Imagine a world where a simple vibrating trick does the treatment. But they need to figure out how safe it is for humans and what is the best time to pop up these vibrating pills. But it is a promising start nevertheless. The future of weight loss could be more than just a little buzz away. That's it in this edition of Monday Midlines. I hope you found this interesting and looking forward for next week for more views, news and opinions that makes or lets you make a calculated decisions on your health. Subscribe and comment your opinion and we'll discuss it. Until next time.